Oh, oh, psyched on pie. We love pie. Hello and welcome to A Little Help, where we show you how to make cooking as easy as pie. Hey, wow! Speaking of pie, let's make some. First things first, let's talk dough. You don't need to buy the store-bought stuff. Making your own is totally easy, and with a little help, you're gonna get it right every time. Flour, butter, sugar, salt, water, you already have all this in your pantry, so why not, right? Right. The keys here are cold butter and cold water, and not overworking your dough. Fat creates steam pockets, which produce a flaky crust. Cold butter creates solid pockets of fat. If your butter is too warm, it'll just melt into your dough and can mean a tough rather than tender crust. You can make your dough by hand or you can make it with a food processor. Today, we're gonna use a food processor to make it a little bit easier. Okay, so it, uh, let's, let's get into it. Let's make some yeah. pie. We have salt, sugar. I'm gonna add that into the food processor. And not spill a thing. Our super cold butter. Start pulsing. Don't overwork it. Pie crust is meant to be tender and flaky, and overworking the dough will overdevelop the gluten, which means your crust may be at risk for shrinkage. I was in the pool. Show you where, Tom. You want some of your butter pieces to be about the size of peas. Okay, so let's add our ice water and pulse some more. Remember to let it rest. The resting period allows the dough to hydrate evenly and combine thoroughly, and it also gives any gluten developed in the mixing stage time to relax and soften slightly before rolling it out. I'm gonna put these in the fridge for about 30 minutes. You can store them up to two days or you can even freeze them if you want. There are so many different kinds of thickeners you can use for fruit pies. Cornstarch, quick cooking tapioca, there's a ton of specialty products you can buy too. But I like to use good old fashioned flour. Flour may not leave the filling extra glossy like some of the others, but it gives no aftertaste and gives the fruit a really awesome texture. We're gonna let our filling cool, then we're gonna add in our reserved berries and a little lemon juice. Gently folding some reserved fresh fruit into pre-cooked filling gives a great texture. Okay, let's get to rolling. If you start rolling and your edges are cracking under your rolling pin, it's not ready yet, so just chill the f out and use plenty of bench flour so nothing sticks. Lastly, a nine inch glass Pyrex pie plate is the only one you'll ever need. It's cheap, it's sturdy, plus the clear glass means you can check to be sure that the bottom crust has browned nicely, which means that it's crisp and it's flaky and it's not soggy. Next, we're gonna roll out our second dough to make our lattice. I know lattice can seem pretty intimidating, but it's actually a simple process that just requires a little bit of practice. If you've never made a lattice before, start with thick strips of dough to make things a little easier. Start with one layer of strips, then gently fold every other one to put the second layer in place. Clean up the edges with a pair of scissors, then crimp the edges with a fork to seal the crust and to make it look extra cute. That's it. And hey, look, lattice isn't just for looks. It helps steam escape and helps fruit juices to concentrate during baking. Wow. So first, I'm gonna put this in the freezer for 30 minutes to keep the dough cold. Then I'm gonna take it out, I'm gonna egg wash it, add sugar, and I'm gonna put it in the oven at 400 for about 45 minutes. Now that your pie is out of the oven, leave it alone. As tempting as warm pie is, allowing your pies to cool completely means your fillings will settle and set up evenly. Cutting in too quickly means you may end up with a loose, juicy mess instead of a beautiful slice, kind of like lasagna. Also, pies are almost always better the next day, so feel free to make a hit. The best part is that once you've mastered one crust recipe, the world of pies is your oyster. You can make dessert pies, you can make savory pies, you can make hand pies, galettes, tarts, whatever you want. The possibilities are endless and all of them are super delicious. See Cutie Pies, all you needed was a little help.
Mm, that's good part. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to check out our other Thrillist videos and like, comment, and subscribe.